everyone. Um, I just thought I would come on here just for a little bit. It's going to be a short video because my baby might wake up. He's asleep now in his own cot. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. The fact that I'm so happy and I had to share it with someone and that's you guys. Um, first of all, I would like to say sorry for the la latest, I don't know, three, four videos which I put with my baby in his bum bum and, um, you know, crawling and stuff. But I'm really proud of him and honestly, he's a baby and I don't think the nudity of a baby will bother many you know hopefully it won't and obviously it's a it's a mom's channel so i guess that is i hope that's accepted um but yeah as you could see he's like slowly crawling he hasn't really well he did roll over once or twice if i put a toy across him like basically far from him and then he tries to reach it but he hasn't been doing it like very often and I don't try try not to force him I we do tummy time but not a lot lately because I think he has some reflux and every time I put him on his belly it kind of ends up spitting and stuff so we still do it though uh, just not every single day um now what I wanted to say is that I made a big step to actually get him a travel cot so his own cot obviously my bedroom is very limited in terms of space and he was co-sleeping with me uh which was really nice um you know for me i mean it was difficult but i really enjoyed it however i knew that it's time for him to kind of progress to a different level and have his own space and you know i was i always had to be cautious whether i move or not if i move and the bed squeaks or something he would wake up and blah 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 anyway so i just decided to get a travel cot and also i really really wanted to work on the naps part because he only used to nap only in his stroller in his pram so i had this pram inside in my bedroom which is fairly small and nice but um I used to push that stroller three, four times a day, as many times as he had the naps, four naps, four strollers, pushes, you know, and stuff. So I had it a little bit enough. So I decided that, okay, I'm going to attempt to switch him into his um, cot. So, you know, I bought, I, I ordered this travel cot on Amazon, cost me £56, which is also, I think you probably all know that, but it's like... Um, also can be a playpen um and it has another layer which is turns into a bed and it's easy foldable you know space saving and all that stuff and it came with a kind of like a cot mobile and also um you know hanging toys and stuff and also like a thing that vibrates which is great because it actually helps him it suits him and it vibrates and has some lights and music so it's pretty cool um so the first day i think we attempted the naps in his cot and he did but very short naps which he still does only 30 minutes nap mostly or 40 max um and i had to put him in his stroller for one of the naps to actually get some good rest that was the first day but today is the i think is the third day and i put him back again into his cot every time i don't put him in the stroller anymore for naps i just put him in his cot and i let him chill and play with his feet and put put the lights on and blah 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 and then he started whining a little bit but he never really cries thank god uh like you know it happened a couple of times that he would cry but not like crazy crying do you know what i mean like not like you know sick crying so um what i do now and i've started and i've been very consistent with it i've started using this uh, huckleberry app which i didn't really know that it's it's fairly useful to be honest unless like obviously you record all the naps and everything in your calendar or handwriting or something but this app i really like it because based on his age the only thing that they you know kind of tell me when his nap should be based on his age um that's that's the thing that they say to me like you know he's five months so he should have three or four naps and i opted for four naps and he needs to have a nap almost every one hour and a half every two hours which we were doing anyway already but it's just nice to see it there in the app and i always record it and also his feedings um so what i have been doing now is basically 
close to his nap time i put him in his cot i give him his pacifier he has to come for blankets which he loves and he cannot sleep without his comfort blankets um and i give those to him i put the vibrating thingy on i put some a little bit lights on i also make the room darker uh and then i just let him be um he starts you know he plays for a while 15 usually it takes about 15 20 minutes until he gets tired and he start whining not really crying and then i go back and i put the pacifier in his mouth and i put his his give a uh, comfort blankets around his face and then he falls asleep which just happened and i was like whoa amazing so for three days it's been three days and he hasn't had any naps in his stroller which is great so i'm really thankful and also two nights he slept in his cot um first night was really difficult because he was awake and then he was uh, you know it was stressful second night was great he was awake though from 1 to 2 30 a.m then he went back to sleep and he woke up at 7 a.m which was amazing last night though well, he hasn't really had a bowel movement, he hasn't pooped in five days. So today was the fifth day and thank God he pooped. But he was very uncomfortable last night and he was kind of like in pain and he would fall asleep and sleep well and then he would wake up and start like screaming in a way of pain. So I had to take him um, in my bed because it was easier for me to soothe him every time rather than him being in his cot. So he slept with me in the bed last night, which was really nice to be honest because I got to sleep well. Um, you know, sleeping on my own in my bed, it's not the same anymore because I always think... Is he breathing? Is he okay? You know, I have to check on him. And even though he's like within an arm's reach from me, really, because <laughs> my bedroom is not that big. So it's very easy for me to see him, but I have to get up and look at it, you know, see him. So, yeah. Uh, so right now he's been napping in his cot and every time he wakes up, he doesn't cry. He just lays there, plays blah, 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 you know, with his feet and stuff, which is amazing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what I want to share with you guys. We're on the right path. However, I don't think this is going to, is going to go that well all the time. So I expect some bumps in the road. But what I'm, what I wanted to say is that being consistent with a routine, it's so important. And I did not know that. I kind of was like, let's go with the flow. And that works, works up until like three months of age, max four. But once he turns four structure and routine is so and consistency is good like you need to be consistent with the same routine every day and the structure um because then that's how he learns and i'm sure that he now he was associating you know stroller movement with his nap so he wouldn't nap anywhere else unless he had the movement um and and that was my mistake because I once put him in the stroller because he couldn't sleep and I wanted him to sleep um, and I put him in the stroller so I kind of gave up into that and since then he just got stuck on the stroller you know naps but now that's all I do sadly well not sadly unfortunately he only has about 35 40 minutes naps and about four but it's okay although he should have four hours of, of sleep within a day but that's okay because he goes to bed fairly early usually around 6 p.m so because he's very tired since he hasn't had you know enough sleep during the day so i don't try to force him i just want him to get used to sleeping in his bed um yeah that's about it and like sleep feeding he doesn't fall asleep feeding only in the evening that happens sometimes but the feed his feeding time doesn't always fall at the same time with his nap or time to sleep so yeah we have to work on that but it's okay we're 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 getting there so i'm really hopeful and that's what i want to share with you mamas out there who are new and probably struggling just like me um you know it is difficult it is but i think it's if you continue to stick with the same routine and just keep repeating it keep repeating it the baby will learn that you know this is the bed this is time for nap now it's time for nap i put the white noise on i put the vibrating machine thingy that vibrates the cot a little bit uh, also i ordered this machine which should arrive today it's called zen something and it's a 
vibrating so I can't wait to get that um, I put the white noise machine I give him his pacifier I give him his blankets and blah blah, blah and he knows it's nap time you know during the night it's more or less the same except the fact that you know I play a little bit more with him before nap I give him a bath if I don't you know there's different things but it's pretty much the same it's just that it's night the room is even darker and then uh, I usually don't I put the noise machine I it really depends on how he is um, yeah so consistency is the key okay right that's all I wanted to say to be honest uh, oh I also wanted to share that I have a high chair for him and I'm trying to get him to sit in that although it's for kind of like a big boy high chair but it kind of works but it's a little bit too big for him I think uh, but we're practicing you know hopefully at some point he's gonna be able to sit properly in it um but he we know we do a lot of like i have a, a sit me up on the floor thingy kind of chair and i try to put him in that as well um so yeah it's you know we're progressing but i am tired to be honest and being a mom is not easy being a single mom is definitely not easy i do miss a little bit my freedom and my time and everything but um you know, I'm really thankful that uh, my baby's healthy and everything. And that's all that matters for me. And, you know, um, you just have to keep on going, isn't it? You just have to keep on hoping that things will get better. Love your baby as much as you can. But don't forget about yourself. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Also, the baby feels if when you're stressed. And I realize when I'm really stressed and... You know I'm worried and I'm stressed because he doesn't sleep and this and that he doesn't sleep and it's even worse so you know we kind of share the same energy so it's important to find a, a balance it's it's impossible not to be worried or stressed especially when you have a baby but just to kind of keep it within a level so that the baby will feel safe and not don't you know don't have to deal with my stress Okay, that's about it. I will do a video next time about, um, hopefully, well, that's not a sad story, but I'm going to share uh, the battle that I'm uh, having right now with, battle, not really, but with the father of my baby, who um, firstly refused to pay child maintenance, but that's going to be the ne next video, because the man is very disordered. But I want to share it with you guys, because... I don't know, maybe there's some other moms out there that are dealing with this and I need some advice how to move forward. Anyways, thank you guys and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm really glad to see that I kind of passed the 100 subscribers um, number, which is great. Although, you know, I'm not making any money on this and stuff. It's purely for my own kind of accountability and just sharing with others what works, what doesn't work and kind of how motherhood is for me. Um, right, okay, well, stay safe and hopefully we'll come out of this lockdown soon because I'm so fed up with it. We're going to go for a walk shortly with another mom who just moved from Germany and she contacted me and she wants to meet some other moms. Her child is 10 months old but um, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go for a buggy walk in the park because what else can you do when everything is closed and we're in a lockdown? Anyways, um, you guys take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.